I'm Josh Kelly, World of Wind, currently 6 0 fighting for the Commonwealth title. Um, follow the sport icon. Go. <coughs> so, on this, uh, well, what are we now? 24. On this uh, midnight hour, um, I think I'll try and keep it as short and make the statements as short and sweet as possible. What we saw tonight was special. One word. Um, special in many ways. Um, Special as a boxing performance, I think I was talk a little bit of hats off to Troy. He came and came and came and came. I think he got very frustrated using a few different tools that weren't just this. Um, in the end, that was for me a sign of a frustration that Josh, uh, you know, was putting on a masterclass. Um, I think Troy is a fantastic gladiator warrior, and I'm sure he'll be back. I think that even illustrates though more that tonight. A very good fighter in Troy met a special fighter, um, and that's all I'll really say on the, on the performance. But from a from a pleasure point of view, apart from this nice strap that you now have, which you'll be adding many to in the future, um, is that you know look at let's look at this from outside the team because I've just joined the team a year ago, a year whatever ago. And, but I, so I've watched the Josh Kelly journey through the eyes of from my friend Adam, of course, who we always have kept in touch and when we haven't had fights together. But from the boxing world, you looked at this from the outside and saw a young man being hyped up because there was a vacuum in this UK boxing space to fill. And that vacuum was supposed to be filled by Josh, Connor Ben. Josh Boazzi, that was the that's the way the industry works. That's not blaming a promoter. That's not blaming a network. It's just, it's just simply the way the industry works. And people, especially with social media, they they draw into that straight away. That's fine. That's the way it works. But when that doesn't go to plan, and the young a young man, a young young in his career, pro career as well, loses to a very good boxer who's now boxing against uh, uh, Terence Crawford. And the world kicks a man when he's down. That's something that I, I hate about our sport. It's something that I detest. I think it's horrible. Um, but that's that's life. And tonight was much sweeter than a 30-second knockout in a round. It was much sweeter than that. It was 12 rounds, 36 minutes, uninterrupted concentration at the highest level of the sport to stick those fucking words down those critics' mouths. <clears throat> That's all I've got to say. Thank you. <laughs> maybe I'll ask, that. Um, <laughs> Adam, maybe you want to say a few words on the back of that? Stuck it down their mouths and up the other side <laughs> Exactly. Well. Where the sun don't shine, baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I haven't no. had a drink yet. Not this is water, not vodka. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I mean, it it's was the master. I mean, you are famous as the Dark Lord for creating <laughs> master plans. <laughs> but to I, I'm going to ask you a question now that I can interview because this is something that I thought when I was doing my first interviews after a fight, I was just thinking, oh, that's a special, special, amazing performance. But actually, what for me, the most special part of it is, is to keep the concentration level. It's very easy to say, right, fight off the rope, dodge, move, fast counters. You know, sounds very simple, but 36 minutes in that sort of atmosphere around this sort of build-up, that's a huge amount of pressure. You know, I know we can laugh the pressure off and we can have a song and dance about it, but that is pressure there. The co the, uh, for me, the most impressive part is the concentration over that amount of time. Not, you blink for one second against a man who could, 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 could throw a good punch, you know? It's, that for me is the most impressive. Sorry to almost answer no. your question. <laughs> yeah, but, but the thing but is, right, I, that's I, I what will, stands out to me. I've said from day one, even, even, even the good days and the bad days, that Josh is the most talented fighter I've ever worked with. What I see him do in the gym repeatedly is, is stuff you can't teach. He can do the things you can't teach. And when, when I hear that chat about he's got no gas tank, he's got no yeah. heart, the only person that beat Josh Kelly before was Josh Kelly. We know that. He's had dark days. He's had a lot to overcome over the last couple of years in, in 
dealing with things mentally, to, to, to get to the point now where he understands himself as a man outside and away from boxing, and it's allowing him to be who he is as a fighter. And he asked me months ago, can he just express himself in a fight like he does in sparring, rather than taking it too seriously orthodox when you approach a fight. I said, all right, let's go with this. He's done a hundred, nearly 120 rounds of sparring, most of them 12 rounders, against two or three different sparring partners. Stuff that I've seen him do in the past with world champions, and he's looked spectacular. I've always known he's, had, he's got special things, and tonight, all you saw was a fraction of what he can do, because it's the first time he's been allowed to do what he does in sparring in a fight, to the point where he said, all right, well then, in sparring, I stand up. Can I stand up in between rounds? Okay, I'll adapt what I do to fit around you because if what I'm telling, what I'm saying is all I want you to do is like you're sparring and just have fun with it. I've got to live it. I can't just say it and not follow through with it. So all right, I've got to recheck myself. I'll work from outside. If you get cut, you get cut. We'll figure it out. And I'll work from the outside so that he can pace around in between rounds like he does in sparring. Because he's sparring, he doesn't just concentrate for 36 minutes. He concentrates for 48 minutes. He does more than 12 rounds. So I knew he could do it, but now he's proved it at championship level against an unbeaten champion, a big strong dude who was relentless in coming forward, and Josh, Josh just got better and better as the fight went. And like he said to Troy, what are you gonna do after six rounds when I'm still there? It was dominant. It, but believe me when I say this, I've seen so much more than what you've just had a taster of tonight. And all he wants to be is an entertainer. He wants to go out, have fun fighting, and just entertain people. I mean, for me, the concentration, that makes sense, total sense with the rounds. In terms of, of you, Josh, are you, I mean, the dressing room before, those who weren't in there, was, uh, was like a party going on. And they, they got me, me doing a special dance, even a sort of yeah. war dance. Yeah. Oh, no, look, look, that was good, though, no? Yeah, it was, was all right. The, 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 suit, the suit looked nice in it. The suit looked nice in it. We said about the dance. <laughs> 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 but, but, but anyway, so forget my dancing. Your, your dance is much more important. <laughs> Adam just said that you looked like you were having fun in there tonight. I mean, I, I had noticed between, I can't remember what song it was, but there was one that you were particularly enjoying between the rounds. Yeah. But I, I think I've never at this level seen someone, I think even Tyson Fury hasn't done this yet, was that you sort of sang along with the song but between like, the rounds with the crowd. Yeah, but like, the, the like, I haven't said, I do all this in spawn, right, and people come down and see it, and they go, oh, Spot, look, da, 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 and then I'm dancing and everyone knows I do this in between spawn um, on a regular basis with good spawn partners. And, uh, thank you for the spawn partners, they, they did what they needed to do. And Jermaine Brown and Lee Cutler yeah, especially. they pushed this hard. And I'm doing that in between rounds there. So I said, Adam, like, if we're going to go into this flow state, why don't we just do everything we're doing in the gym and just go in the ring and do it? And instead of you wouldn't practice something all your life, I and mean, then when it's time to do it, do it totally different than what you've been practicing like. So I was like, why don't we just up around the spot? And like Adam suggested that, and then we just constantly spot. That's my favorite part of job spawn. I'd, I'd, I'd rather spar every day than do anything else. And then by the end of it, I was actually sick of sparring. I was like, Jesus Christ, we've got another 10, 12 round that I do with you against these two big middleweights flying that's trying to take me head off. But that's what I said, and I said, we stand up. We'll just, we'll just go for it because you only live once and if you've got doubts in the back of your head and thinking, I should have done it like this, I should have done it like that, then you live, you grace this earth once, so why not just do it the way you want to do it? So I thought, tonight I just thought, fuck it, I'm doing it my way, do you know what I mean? Fantastic. <laughs> um, I forgot to ask you this because I think everyone else will want to ask you this. There's chapters, I believe, in chapters in life mm. and there's chapters in your career, there's chapters in your private life. Tonight, for me, look, once again, not having been part of that first part of the journey, and it will look like this perception-wise to a lot of the public, it was closing the chapter, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, like I heard Troy a couple of times now, and he's, tall, he's so tough, bro, he's so tough. He, I heard him and I thought, should I st can I step on him and try? And then I thought, no, I'm not going to try. He's that tough, I thought, like, can I get this guy? Like, I think you'd be able to hit him with a bat and he'd get yeah. off the stool. But I think you him the first time. Like, first time he, he's so tough. So, I mean, when I knew that, I thought, let's just, let's just do, let's just do what I do. And when I get around 12, 
this was stamp out all this this down to these guys because I like Adam's been here. I've been doing this for years in the gym, not like years and and then I don't know, my mind used to play tricks on us and I was so weird man, in my head and I just you wouldn't even believe like some of the dark places I've been in and people used to come in and think, How is he like this now? When he's just he was like that in the gym a couple of weeks ago. And now I've sorted that out. Like Tonight, he said, I was so relaxed in the changing rooms. And some, uh, one of the guys, I think it's Dave, says, I've never seen a changing room this relaxed. I have to be there relaxed, and I have to feel like I'm not even fighting. I have to be like I'm in the gym. I have to be like the music's on. I have to just, and when I'm, like, I'm fueled a lot by music and rhythm, so when I hear something, I just start going with it. So then that keeps us going and going and going and going. I actually said, Adam, can we play music in between the rounds? He says, there will be music played on. I know, but I want some, like, some vowel tunes in between the rounds. And he was like, I can't take the phone up there and start blasting music. I think one of the lads said, we'll put a speaker in the corner. I said, you can't be doing that. Don't like uh, a bit of Bon Jovi? Bon Did you have Bon Jovi on it? It was my playlist. Was it? Off my phone. You need to short that dancing out as well as your playlist. I'm <laughs> <laughs> really joking. Now, I'll tell you something. The, 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 the crowd were even. <coughs> crowd were even, great, bro. But, but they turned, didn't they? During the fight. They yeah. think you, you entertained them. I and mean, I, 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 I mean, gosh, despite I, you winning pretty much every round for me, in, in between the rounds, they were all having a great time, and I think, I think you soaked it up, no? Did me at the North East and I wanna I wanna I wanna go back and put a fight around the stadium like that would be a dream, imagine that in the stadium like I don't think anyone's done that that'd be unbelievable. Yeah. That'd be unbelievable. But the North East in the whole Troy's fans, my fans, everyone everyone was uh, everyone performed tonight. <laughs> so uh, yeah. yeah. I feel I, like I'm in a dream at the moment, mate, it's a bit weird. I'm uh, uh slap us out a bit for it. <laughs> Troy tried that, didn't work. Um, he, he's feeling like it is worth a little hmm. bit. You, you, you were speaking a bit to him during the fight, right? Yeah, because speaking to what, one... What were you saying? No, I was just saying, like, I remember one round, this, I think one of the coaches and he says, he was, I was in the corner, at his corner, and he went, he's tired now, Troy, and I turned around and I said, I'm not tired. No, I saw that, I saw that. And then the fight kicked <laughs> off outside, and I seen it kick off and I went, they're fighting more than me and you at the moment. I says, Jesus, like that. And then he told me, like, he was back, he was against the rope. He had Troy back to against the ropes. He was above me. I'm watching it, like, intently focused. And he looked at me and went, they're fighting over there. And I've turned around and seen it kicking off. I've watched that for like two seconds, turned back, and he's back in the centre ring again, carrying on boxing. But he told me to turn around and watch him fight him. I just knew, like... This shit happens every day in the gym. That's what I'm yeah. saying. But honestly, if you, if you saw 50% of what goes on in the gym, be so much more entertaining tonight. Fuck yeah, I've got some fucking live up there, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I mean, we've worked with quite a few boxers before, and, and I remember, um, especially with David Hay, I remember there's not, you know, when you stand in the ring before, especially world top fights, there's a lot of people in the ring, so it's not quite tight in there. And I remember David, when he was in the ring, he would walk around and I would actually be worried that he'd sort of fuck, uh, because he was always, always, remember he always looked at the floor and sort of paced around and it was like very intense vibe, let's say. This is exactly, probably, it doesn't get more opposite, but with, with the exception that the level of being in the zone is a, such a different zone. Is that something that you had to come up with that for Josh? Is that something that, that's just come out naturally? Everything you saw today is all Josh Kelly. No, the one, the, one, the only, the, 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 the side on, the side, the side, the side on jab, that, that, that sharp shooting side on jab, and the lead hook is something we've worked on in that orthodox frame of mind. But in terms of his IQ, and his ability, his ability to, to classic, yeah. his ability to read things that are about to happen. He, Josh can do the things you cannot teach. And the big challenge for me as a coach is not to interrupt it, to allow it and just make sure that I'm guiding it without never telling what shot to throw, never never prescribe anything. Because if you prescribe it, I, my, my prescription is two steps behind what he's already seen. Yeah. And for me, it's fascinatingly fun to work with that. Well, you can tell. <laughs> Can I just ask Josh, was that a, a perfect performance, a faultless performance? I'd say so, pretty much. I, uh, I, I had that, like, I had that.
for 15 rounds in the gym every day. So I knew what was coming. I knew the jog across the ring at us, and I knew when I'd switch angle, he'd come again and come again and come again. I just We'd rehearse pads where I'd just hit the, hit the pad once and go around on the, hit the pad once, go around on the, constantly, constantly, constantly. Just to condition them legs, just to get them in the position where I can just go round and round and round and not get tired because when I start punching, when you start punching, you obviously leave vulnerabilities or you leave yourself open. When you're punching, you either you either connect or you're leaving yourself open. In his case, every time he punched, he was he was leaving himself wide open. So I didn't really need to punch that much. I just needed to punch when the time was right. So when the time was right, I picked the shots and I felt like I didn't I didn't waste any energy. I, before when I was young, I used to come out and fly and hit loads of shots and I just boxed the way. We did in the gym, really. Yeah. Box of freedom, would you say? Is that, is that yeah, the, just yeah. like flow state, yeah. like just like I always say this: like if you in work or you're doing a job and you ever do something really that good that you feel like you're like you have like you feel like you're out of body experience where you just like what's just happened there? Like weird. I've just I've just had that night. It's so weird. So sort of, man, really weird. I didn't feel like it was me, like coming you out of the having those experiences. I've been very happy with the Tommy of an out-of-body experience. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic, yeah, go like that. Yeah, you, you, you won a Commonwealth title like, very early in your career. Obviously, boxers and then Olympian before then. What's it feel like having the Lonsdale belt draped over oh, your right shoulder? Oh, man, unbelievable. You said before, didn't you, Billy Hardy was the yeah. one since 1995. So Billy Hardy's a legend up son and I've just put myself in the history books there with him. So I'm very, very just happy mate. Like I just come from humble backgrounds. Like went to Turn Pro, my dad messaged Adam Booth on Facebook and Adam really got back to him on Facebook. He never like that was when Facebook was dying out and then I ended up coming down and I was like, this is all a bit crazy. Met my wife before the Olympics and it all just it all just joined together and I was just like, this is, this is, it's good. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. This is why I need to be enjoying it. It's a great spot in City, Sunderland. What about the Stadium of Light? Um, what about the world title fight at the Stadium of Light? Yeah, I mean, I'm going to avoid uh, talking about future fights tonight and mentioning names. I just think tonight's so special uh, in terms of closing that chapter. I really believe in that, but. When I'm a promoter, you know, I'd be delighted to promote in a stadium of light. Absolutely, I mean, we need the right fight, we need the right dance partner, of course, you know. Um, need the right weather. Need the right <laughs> weather, good luck tomorrow night. Um, uh, for those going, I'll in the mosquito suit. Um, but no, I mean, I think the weather up here don't matter, by the way. I mean, not for the people. I, well, I mean, for a <laughs> rush fighting, you kind of get... Other people, yeah, but I mean, up here you can put a fight on... on Minus 20 and it'd still be... Oh, so everyone would still be out in skirts yeah. and vests. It's, um, it's, I, I love it up here, I've got to say. Um, but, of course, yeah. I mean, like Adam said, this isn't... You know, I can only go on what, what I've seen and, and, and with Adam, you know, he's a long-term friend, partner, whatever, and, 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 and he's someone I trust implicitly in, in the sport, so I, I get guided by that. And nothing else and then I try and make things happen and you know we've got a pretty good track record of making those things happen over the past 20 sign years and we've produced one or two world champions <laughs> yeah. over the years uh, I think absolutely I'm sorry, I keep on swearing I'm so excited <laughs> but he's going to be a world champion yeah. it's, not, it's not like if but tonight I once again trust with Adam here I, I I didn't there wasn't a hesitation in my mind like people saying it's a 50 50 fight obviously I'm not allowed to bet I didn't bet you don't get excited um, but <laughs> mate, how do people I mean that shows me the levels that people doubted and yes of course there's another level up you know the world champions but this lad's got it all. I've, I didn't even mention speed in my uh, little <laughs> speech, by the way. But speed was is, is his biggest asset. It's speed. You know, I mean, that, that, those counters. I mean, he wobbled him in, and I, I always forget the rounds when I'm nervous, and, and there was no ring goals to help me. So uh, we're not now at the moment working on that. Um, ra rounds one wobbled him. Rounds, I think five, 
seven and eleven, I would go. What about him? But Troy, if you give Troy big credit here. I mean, it shows the level of the performance. Man. That's <laughs> Relentless, he is one. I mean, he's tough. tough. He's, he's he, look up tough, and there's a picture of Troy Williamson in the dictionary. I mean, he's a, you know, and he, he will he will have big success. And when when uh, we move up to fight for, for for world titles, I'm sure Troy will hold that belt one day. I'm sure of it. Again, you know, um, he's a he's very very good boxer. Yeah. But there's very, very good, and then there's special, and tonight was special. Can I ask a question? Uh, just want to say a massive congratulations for tonight. Um, I've been following your journey for, uh, since you started boxing, I've been loving it. Um, obviously, this fight's big to you. Um, what's, what are you going to take back from this fight to, to the back to the gym, back to the sparring? <coughs> what, what are you going to take back from tonight? I just think just keep doing what I'm doing, really, just keep polishing what I'm doing. Seems to be working. <laughs> we're taking, we're not, it's, it's the reverse. We're taking stuff from the gym into the next fight. Yeah, I think that's what it is. That would be the case. I mean, yeah, just got to keep enjoying it, mate, and just keep, as long as I'm enjoying it, enjoying sport, then I'll be in it. The day I stop enjoying it like I was before, and if that ever happens, and they're going to a dark place, I'll walk away because that's not where I want to be for me, my family, my coach, anybody. They put out with some of the worst shit I've ever been through, so yeah. I, I just keep enjoying. Josh, you probably wasn't easy in there, but it definitely you made it look easy from where I was sat. And it's very clear to see that happy Josh Kelly is the best Josh Kelly in the ring. Yeah. You've clearly been through some stuff. What is it that you've changed out of the ring to get to where you are tonight? And is, has, how much of an influence has Adam had on that as well and the rest of the team? Adam's had a massive. Um, I've got some close friends who's still buyers. Adam's had a massive. <laughs> input he actually said this in unity go and sort of sort yourself out so I went and talked to a few people and a, a guy called Stephen Green come about and he he was sort of working he was like I can change your mindset you know I was like what's this guy know about boxing do you know what I mean kind of change that I've got a strong mindset you kind of change that and then he come in he started doing stuff for us I was like this is mad brought me down and in many sessions I was crying I was like this is crazy this going home and Remy was like, what's he doing you down there? That's my wife, she's going, what's he doing? You're constantly crying when you're coming home. But he, um, he's just changed everything. And literally, if you think about it, we're here for a blip. That's why I keep saying to myself, we're here for a blip and nothing really matters. Like, we, it, this does matter, obviously it does. But if I, this will be all news in two or three weeks and everyone will be moved on to the next fight. And that's life. And that's what that's why I've got a feel of speaking joy in every moment. I stay in the present moment at all times. Anxiety is worrying about the future and depression is worrying about the past. So it's, I've just got to just stay right here. I, I want to come out this dream state and actually feel like I'm living that at the moment because this is weird, man. I feel like this is a weird deja vu I've got here, like some mad trip. But um, yeah, just. I know it's a bit deep what I'm saying, but like yeah, that's good, just good. like what I what like you put life in perspective. Like people will come and go. We're only here for what max 70, 80, 90, 100 years. Lucky, and I want to just every day. I just want to just live happy and enjoy it. Obviously, it's gonna be down days, hard days, and whatever. But if you can have less of them and more of the good ones, then we're winning, I guess. You know what I mean? Very good, uh, mate. Well done. Cheers, bro. Good words. Good words. Um, Final one. Like you mentioned earlier on, like you wobbled them a few times. Like with your like huge skill set, do you think that your power might be underestimated? Like th- by people? Yeah, I think so, mate. I think <clears throat> the shots you don't see coming and the shots would hurt you. So um, I knew we'd I knew we'd end up walking into a shot and getting hurt. You walk yourself into shots. And it's the shots you don't see coming with the speed, that's what hurts people. It's not necessarily these big slugging loady up shots or yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think it's definitely underrated. Yeah, amazing on the sh- on the short on the short, sharp ones. Yeah. Those are the ones that, that are going to get people. Yeah. You know, I mean, Troy... He's <laughs> tough, mate, he's so tough. <laughs> I, thought was, I thought, listen, I could end up breaking my hand in this yeah. fight and having to fight with one hand. He's that tough, like, his head's that hard as well. So he's just a tough geezer. He's, I've got massive respect from Troy. For Troy, we grew up together, like, in the amateur rankings and everything. And we were out back and forth just to get the fight going. But he's, he's a true warrior and he's just, he showed it tonight. Jesus Christ, he's... Tough, tough, tough fella. I think that's uh, that's it for this evening. Again, congratulations, a big round of applause, please.